Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and do you like free stuff? Because if so, we've got some free stuff for you, and that is coming in the form of three downloadable packs from the Cinti store, actually from the Unity store, from the publisher Cinti. And Cinti, uh, they've been in a number of bundles in the past. They have a nice minimalistic art style, and the nice thing about this one actually is you can use what we're about to look at in any game engine, any tool, whatever you want, and it's a very uh, flat polygon style, so setting them up is pretty straightforward. I'll actually show you the, the process of getting these things into the Godot game engine as an example. But first, off to the Unity Asset Store. What you're going to see here, they've got a 50% off sale on all of the Cinti stuff, plus uh, there is the three free gifts, and we're going to see the three free gifts in just a minute. So what it works out, basically, all of their stylized art packs are now 50% off, and then there's these three assets right here. Each one of them, basically just click on it, like here, add it to your cart, uh, which I've already done, so I can't showcase this. By the way, there is a ton of personal information shown on screen when I do this, so I'm a little hesitant to show you the entire process. But basically, add it to the cart one by one, all three of these assets, and then at checkout, make sure you use the code, all caps, CINTI2021. What that will do is change the dollar amount from, say, 30 bucks down to zero, and then you check out. You can use, I use a PayPal account. It doesn't charge it or anything, but you're going to have to have a valid payment mechanism on your account, be it a credit card, PayPal, whatever, um, but it will set the price to zero after you put this code in and before you click checkout. So that's one of, oh, not, not checkout, but buy. Uh, so do be sure to check that the price went down to zero. And then once you've got that, you get these three asset packs. And we're going to go take a look at one of them. This is probably the bell of the ball in terms of the assets you get. This is the city pack. And as you see, you're getting a ton of content for creating um, city type scenes. You can see it is a definite low polygon kind of vibe to it, but I, I love Cinti's art style, to be honest. I think they look great. And the nice thing about this is also it's pretty simplistic for the most part. Uh, not from an artistic point of view. It, it's really good work. It, it, uh, it conveys a lot of emotion with a minimal amount of polygons. But the nice thing with this simplicity is you can really make your own versions of everything you're seeing here uh, quite simple. So it's a good art style to start with if you are kind of starting out as a modeler, as you can expand it. But as you can see, you can create some pretty intensive levels out of this. Now you're wondering, okay, how do I go ahead and get this into another engine? Well, that's simple. Basically create a project. There's other ways, but the easiest way is to install Unity, create a project, and then pull the assets out. Uh, you can also use the, um, you can extract the pack, the asset packages and grab it that way. But again, the easiest way is to create a project. You can see here it's broken down into a number of different ways. Now this is going to be so much easier to work with in Unity. In Unity, you basically literally just, it's going to be all created for you, drag and drop in and boom, you're good to go. But in another environment, still not that hard. So let's say we want the models available right here, go to the models directory, and then we go ahead and say, show an explorer. That will show us the models directory right there. Let's go into it. And here, let's grab, um, I don't know, it's like, we'll grab a car. There's cars here somewhere, I think. Yeah, car, okay. So let's grab a muscle car FBX file and just take that FBX file, open up your Godot project of sorts, drop it into the file system, and that will create it for you. Now, one of those things you're gonna wanna be aware of though is select it and go to the import value and you're gonna find that things are really tiny. So we're just gonna go ahead and set that up to 100 times scale. That will make it 100 times bigger uh, and it'll put more in a Unity level scale, sorry, at a Godot friendly scale. Drop that into our scene and there you go. So the only work you really have left to do is to set up the textures on this one. And there's a single texture map in the collection. Uh, go in to find a material and then you are ready and good to go. So that's how easy it is to get working in another game engine if you so wish. You're going to notice down here uh, there are all of the textures available like so. So it's just a matter of finding the right texture that you need, uh, bringing it in and hooking it up to your guy as well, and then you're done. Uh, that's all it takes to get it into another game engine. Now, of course, these are Unity uh, assets, so they work a whole lot easier in the Unity world, but then again, you see here, I still have to hook the texture, textures up on this guy. Some of them you're going to have to, some of them you won't. It's kind of the nature of these things. They're highly configurable, but I can also bring things in. Uh, here's where Unity really shines in terms of this stuff, is you can bring things in just straight out uh, as... Um, prefabs and they're good to go they're already set up uh you can see here there's a mesh renderer and a collider on that thing so that uh if you've got physics in your world boom they're just gonna work uh so i say i need a traffic light boom i have a traffic light and that's that's how easy it gets you can see here there's even uh some setups on it as well the material is all made for you it makes working in unity incredibly easy so that's the one pack i'm gonna head on back over here i've imported all three of them so that's polygon city again the one that i think is probably the star of the show we've also got the prototyping bundle this one's actually pretty nice in the fact that um 
it, it's for mocking up a world as you wish. So you can see a number of different assets. Go see game mode. You can see the kind of stuff that's here. So if you're like white boxing, or I guess in this case, yellow boxing your level, you're kind of just prototyping things. Uh, that is exactly what these assets are all about. So you can see here, we've got a number of different uh, assets you can use to basically mock up um, games. You've got things like ramps, uh, walls, arches, and so on. Uh, so if you just kind of need to like prototype a level quickly, get your physics working, whatever, that is what these assets are all about. Unless, of course, you're going for that minimal, super, super minimalistic art style. And again, you're going to find here a number of prefabs ready to go. So we've got characters, buildings, and so on. So just drop it into the world, bring in something. So all the pieces you need to start prototyping your own level are available in this pack. Now, the other pack is icons and so on. So let's go back over here. I'm not sure how they're, so Polygon Icon Collection, uh, Scenes, Demo Scene, don't save. Now, this is a huge collection of icons, ready to go, like so. And they're basically 3D versions. So if we go here, you'll see to the side, they're 3D icons more or less. So if you need to have uh, icons in your game, definitely could come in handy. We've got a bunch of emojis. We've got all the letters of the alphabet. We've got most of the currencies out there uh, and so on and so forth. So if you need to have like a 3D user interface, uh, this is your boy. And that's that's the uh, the three icon, the three packs here. So we've got the city pack, uh, the icon pack and the uh, prototyping pack. Uh, again, all free using the code Cinti2021. Once you've added to cart and checked it out, what you do is basically come on in here, go to the, uh, oops, no, always pick the wrong one, uh, package manager like so, just search for the word Polygon and you will find all of them. Now, there have been a number of um, Cinti packs in the past. And so if you want to check out some of their other stuff, I've got the Knights pack and the Western pack. They've got some great uh, other packs going on. So that's the other thing here is there is a 50% off sale. By the way, if you do use my link to buy anything, I get a small 3 or 4% commission on anything you buy. And I definitely appreciate that. Uh, and I also get 3% uh, commission on zero for all of these. So do definitely pick these up. Even if you're not a, a Unity developer, if you're willing to just get in there and, and check these assets out, if you decide to use Unity later on, uh, I like these things. And more and more Unity are doing these sales where they're doing a publisher sale, but they're giving away a couple of packs for free. And I love this move. It, it's definitely a step towards competing with the... Um, uh, every Tuesday Unreal Giveaway. By the way, stay tuned next uh, Tuesday for what I hope is another Unreal Giveaway. I do like that they've gone in this direction. It gives you kind of a sample, but you can also jump in and then check out the rest of their assets. And what you're going to find is Cinti has a ton of asset packs out there, all in the exact same uh, art style, uh, which is nice. So if you need to add cars to your world or shops, or uh, and that's kind of where they really shine, is if you're using them in this art style for your game, and, and you kind of, one of the challenges is if you need more, you have to make sure that your art style matches. Um, and with Cinti having basically done like everything, there's a pack for just about every genre of game you could think of, all in the exact same. So if you got the city pack, you could add the city characters and have your own walking hot dog here. And the other thing is, even at 50% off, we're talking like anywhere between like 30 bucks and like six or seven dollars. So their assets are also really quite nicely priced. Um, so you can mesh the art style pretty easy. So if you want to have a city game, then you need to add an airport to it. You've got airport and that will have jets and all the airport stuff and all the other things. We've got the icon pack. Uh, I think there's, I think that's actually a different one. That's a cartoony icon pack, but then if you want to have farm. So basically you could create a Cinti style GTA game with dinosaurs, with knights, with whatever you want. And they will have an art style that matches for interiors, exteriors, and so on. Uh, so Cinti stuff, uh, again, if you don't like their style, if it doesn't mesh with your game, it is absolutely useless. But if you like this style, uh, it's a nice pack. And also since, again, things are pretty simple in terms of uh, the polygon counts and so on, bringing something like this into a blender and tweaking it to your make, make derived works um, isn't really that hard. So if you want to bring in a character and make them taller and, you know, flare out their outfit a bit, whatever, even if you have minimal artistic ability, it's, it's actually kind of achievable. Uh, so that's definitely one of those things to check out. And as you can see, you can use it in Godot, Unreal, Blender, whatever. And generally the license does allow you to do that. So even if you are not a Unity developer. I recommend create an account, sign up, get these things and start hoarding. Just like I recommend it for people with the Unreal giveaways. You know, someday you might change your mind or you might be able to use them in another engine or another project. Also, one more thing to point out, uh, the Unity software bundle, the Fantasy Games and Game Dev Assets bundle. This one I did a video on yesterday. This one is amazing. Again, doesn't really matter what engine you're using. The deal here is 
you know, obviously the plugins aren't that great if you're using it uh, anywhere other than uh, Unity, but you can get a bunch of things like medieval weapons, icon, um, fantasy GUI icons, a uh, bunch of characters and so on, generally all in FBX formats as well. But I do have to point out some people had some problems with the redemption. Uh, Unity switched it so that you could use a single key without having to put every single key in over and over and over again, which is a definite improvement over the last time they did this bundle because it makes redeeming this a whole lot faster. Just to be aware, there is um, a bit of a problem going on in the backend systems. Unity are working on it, Humble are working on it. There's also some problems with Humble for checking out. Uh, those seem to be resolved at this point in time. So if you had some trouble yesterday, do try again. I will drop this link down below if you want to check it out as well. Because this is an amazing bundle. Hopefully they've got all of the problems sorted. Uh, one post I saw said September the 3rd, but I don't know if that's the case or not. But if you did check this bundle out and you had some trouble getting it, uh, do be aware. Uh, Unity are working on it. Hopefully they have it fixed. If not, they will have it fixed soon and you should be able to redeem it. Also, if you had trouble with checkout, hopefully you, uh, the Humble side of things have that fixed as well. So that is it. We have the 50% uh, off sale for Cinti assets. You can get uh, and three packs of them that we saw in action today uh, completely for free using the code Cinti2021 at checkout. Apply the code, price goes to zero, then buy the assets for free and they are yours to keep forever. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Uh, talk to you all later. Goodbye.